Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. I didn't think for you to be proud of her. Of course you have. You are marrying a man who can support you. Hi ladies, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Shanice. She finally confirmed after weeks of speculating that she has in fact separated from Sean and Olivia. Now, if you are unaware of who Sean, Shanice and Olivia are, they are the famous and popular poly couple on TikTok and they were doing a series of streams and and they became popular through their live streams on TikTok, just talking about their relationship and things like that. And so she has finally made the announcement on her YouTube channel that she just created. She posted her first video confirming that she has in fact separated herself. And she has also given a little bit of a life update on what's next for her. So let's go ahead and get into this video and then I'll be back for the remainder of my commentary. I know everyone is waiting on the tea, but fortunately this is the only tea that we will be having today. With this tea, I will be providing the context for my next three videos. So this is a prequel. Let's call this a prequel. We're gonna title it Unpacking because not only will I be unpacking things in my new home, I will be unpacking all of my traumas on YouTube. <laughs> Ooh, the trauma. <laughs> Today, what I am going to share is my conclusion. I am no longer in a relationship. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> um, praise God. And I'm happy. Regardless, I still have a lot of work to do on myself. And I have a lot of room to grow. And I just wanted to take everyone with me on this journey think of this as like an opening counseling yes because we all need therapy anyway if you have previously or presently deal with anxiety depression trauma or just everyday life stressors i'm going to take you on this journey with me i have a lot of work to build myself into my the person that I need to become. Not only for me, but for the family that I have, for the partner that I am going to spend the rest of my life with. I have a lot of work to do. For me, the pattern that I wish to break was keep pleasing. What I thought I was doing was being the light in someone's world or making the best of a difference changing something for the better but what I was actually doing was not having boundaries uh, lack of boundaries um, having difficulties saying no and caring for others more than I cared for myself it took me 20 minutes it took me 20 minutes it took me 20 minutes by the time I got home to end my relationship and I was happy not only was I happy, I was able to communicate my feelings with any, without any fear of repercussions, without any um, worry or doubt that I was going to be misunderstood. It's not my responsibility for someone who doesn't speak my language to comprehend me. That's not my responsibility. I communicate what I can, I explain as much as I could, I, I elaborate as many times and as, as deeply as I, I could. And that was it. I was done. I was done. And the fact that it was so decisive made it feel a lot easier. It was over. And that doesn't mean that I didn't love, I didn't have love, or 
that doesn't mean that I didn't care. Mind you, this is the day before my birthday. <laughs> the clarity I felt was amazing. I am deserving of success and happiness. I am a child of God and he has a plan for me. I am kind and compassionate towards others. I am confident in who I am and what I believe. So when I first saw this video, I was so happy for Shanice. I'm still happy for Shanice, but I did do a little digging and I looked a little deeper into this situation because I think a lot of people want to know what actually happened because you didn't get that much from the video. So I found out that the reason why Shanice truly left Sean is because she was at risk for losing her honorable discharge within the Navy because they caught wind of this relationship, allegedly. However, it would make sense as to why she made this decision to leave Sean within 20 minutes. Honorable discharge within the Navy is when a service member must have received a rating from good to excellent for their service. Service members who meet or exceed the required standards of duty, performance, and personal conduct, I repeat, personal conduct, and who complete their tours of duty normally receive honorable discharge. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what disqualifies an honorable discharge. And it states here, this type of discharge status is usually reserved for veterans who have committed a very serious offense, such as desertion, the R word or murder. Hey, okay, I'm gone. It would well, have affected her discharge in a negative one. way. So she wanted a betterment of the discharge. If she if she got reprimanded, it would have been a worse discharge. Yeah, so she didn't want that. She would probably want veteran benefits, a pension, and everything else. She knew that she was going to lose all of that if she didn't comply. So she That's had right. to choose. She had to plead, not you know, you know, like the like the like the a, a lesser punishment, if you will. Exactly. <laughs> It almost makes you wonder, like, with her saying that she's supposed to be getting out soon, like, was she, is she going to get back into, like, is that even a possibility? Like, if she, you know, once she's finished with her military career, could I she think go her, back? The thing, is, I th the thing is, her contract was almost up, but she thought it was still okay to, 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 to fuck around and find out. So exactly right. So she thought, oh, I got three, four months in my entire four or five year contract. I can do this. But the thing is, they found out anyway and say, you know what? We're going to take your honorable discharge if you keep doing this. She said, no, 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 no. You got it. You got it. OK, it's a play by play. I'm not saying accurately. I'm just paraphrasing what could have happened. She didn't want a worse discharge. I would say you're absolutely correct. You, par you paraphrase that, I mean, perfectly. <laughs> yep. She didn't want to get that less than honorable or that general. I mean, you know, she only has four months, four and a half months left. So, yeah, she thought yeah, she could I don't break the rules in the fourth quarter. That's not yeah. how it goes. <laughs> exactly. I wonder if she'll go back after. Like is that is, is that's what I was asking. Is that a possibility? Like would like would the military have any say in if she was to go back after she was finished with her contract? Oh, when she if she's out, I mean that's up to her if she wanted to do that, but I don't think she would uh personally I don't think she would go back into that situation. Um, I, I think the mental toll it almost ruined her 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 military career, having to deal with Sean controlling and and the lies and all that stuff. I doubt very yeah. seriously that she would go back, put herself yeah, in that. Yeah, if she reenlisted, her her if she if she reenlisted, her precious honorable discharge would have been on the line again for the next exactly. three to four years. With mm -hmm. with and she had and she has to walk on eggshells, walking correctly, not a single counseling chit. So it would have been very hard for her. So she had a chance to get out at this time. This is the perfect time for her to get out and not reenlist. Yep. So she basically sat on live and told that bold faced lie and said that she spoke to, you know, her command and they said that, you know, she was good. That was a lie. 
That's a lie. Because the chain of command do not play around. This is not tedious. They, they'll they punish you for the most tedious things. Even this, as trivial as that. So no, knowing what's on the line for her, for the benefits that she might lose when she gets out, she does not want to risk that, losing it for any man or for any woman, period. Yeah, that's true. And I'm going to tell you the worst two branches that do not play around with stuff like adult is the Marine Corps and the Navy. I know, I know that my my fiance it's, been in the Marines for fourteen years. Yeah, they don't <laughs> play around with adultery, man, or any of that polygamy stuff like that. I mean, the Army and Air Force is hard on it too, but Marine Corps, Navy, man, they yeah, big do Navy. Not. <laughs> they do not mess around with that. So I was shocked by this, and I'm like, you know what? This actually makes a lot of sense because it makes a lot of sense as to why she was able to make this decision in less than 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So I looked into the maximum punishment for adultery within the military or within the Navy, and it says here under the Uniform Code of Military Justice as extramarital sexual conduct is a dishonorable discharge, a forfeit of all pay and allowances and confinement for up to a year. If she doesn't sign it, then it'll automatically go to the next level. You can't just say, I'm not signing this. So she signed it and she was out of there and my friend said six or seven days. It didn't take her 10 days. So that's the real truth why Shanice disappeared so quick. And we were like, where's Shanice? How right. come she's not in the line no her more? Her chain of command knew. Her chain of command knew. Probably gave exactly. her counseling shit. Reported, hey, if you keep this up, we're going to go to the higher ups. Either there you go. Keep this, either we're going to keep this in house, or we're really going to screw you over and take it to the higher chain of command. And I know you don't want that. So what's it going to be? They gave her an ultimatum. She chose the lesser of two evils, and here we are now. Yep. And that's it. And they already knew Sean's background because he was stationed at the same naval base that she was at. Um, of course, not at the same time. You know, he's been out now for five years or whatever the case. But, yeah, so some of the people there, people in San Diego, they know who Sean is, <laughs> you know. So that's just like Jordan said. And that's how we're here now with Shawnee's up out of there. Just to confirm, I also looked into what is considered adultery in the Navy, and it says here for a service member to face career or criminal penalties for adultery, they have to violate the specific written rule that has recently changed. They or their partner must be married. There must be a physical sex act and it must impact the good order or discipline in the armed forces. So because Sean is in fact still legally married to his ex-wife and he has made that known publicly, this is the real reason Shanice had to leave Sean because she was at risk for losing everything that she had worked so hard for allegedly and I believe she only has like a few months left within the Navy and then she's going to be able to discharge herself and she wants to do it under honorable discharge not dishonorable discharge because that will affect her entire future so my question for you ladies is this do you think she will go back after the fact after she completes servicing within the navy because there is a chance that she could go back but there's also a chance that she may in fact make this a permanent thing within her life i personally feel like she's gonna make it permanent i'm hoping she's making it permanent and i hope that this entire thing with the navy was her true wake-up call to choose herself and she spoke a little bit about that within her youtube channel she spoke about how she's a people pleaser and she put everything on the line for this man and he still didn't really choose her in my opinion and so she decided to leave and move on with her life 
and just to disconnect from this entire situation because I'm sure it was stressful. I'm sure we're going to learn more about what could have been some issues within this poly relationship, some issues that she may have had with Sean and Olivia. So I'm interested in learning more about the situation as far as their relationship. I don't think she's going to talk about the real reason why she left because again, it would put a lot of things on the line for her. So I think it's best for her to just keep quiet about it until she is truly done with the Navy. But what are your thoughts and opinions? Comment down below. And if you're new here, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload and I'll catch you in my next one.